Welcome back everyone. We have something a little bit different today. I'm with Jimmy from Scallywag Custom and uh, riding through the Panhandle, decided to stop in because we've seen some of their work they do on social media and it's pretty impressive, specifically uh, Cerakote work. They do a lot of really cool patterns, um, just whatever the customer wants, but they also do some other stuff. So what do you guys do here? So we do uh, anything from, we do webinars where we go and do reviews of different types of weapons and different types of accessories and stuff like that. And uh, so we have a webinar site and that's called Scallywags Reviews. And then we do custom guns is what we do the most of. We build guns from scratch. Sometimes customers will send us their guns. Okay. We'll uh, modify them however they want. Uh, sometimes we just do guns from scratch then we sell them on our website. Uh, but honestly, mostly customers send us guns and they tell us to do it how we want to do it. Okay. And uh, they like some of our inspiration and everything and some of our styles. We kind of have a certain style that we're known for. So a lot of the times we get blank canvases sent to us. Gotcha. So as you probably heard, there's timers going off in the background because there is work being done behind us. So today what we're going to do is I think we're going to do kind of a mix of a few different Cerakote options. But the one that got me in the door here was he posted on social media that he was doing an M81 camouflage pattern. And I was like... My audience would love that. Uh, yeah. God's plaid. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so we're going to do that. Just kind of walk you guys through the process because I have never Cerakoted anything, at least not properly anyway. I've spray painted stuff in my backyard, you know, and uh, that doesn't count. So <laughs> we're going to have a pro here walk us through the process so that way you guys can see what it takes to make the guns look like this. So as I learned earlier, the actual process to Cerakote a firearm, you know, from the start to finish takes hours so we're not going to do that whole process in this video obviously because you guys your time is valuable so what i want to do is kind of walk you through the steps if you will so what's the first thing that happens when a gun comes in so we get a gun in we get it all checked in and everything and we're going to assign a tub to a customer and then we're going to take that gun down first we're going to kind of we'll have an order with the customer or or even if we're doing it freestyle we'll decide what's going to get painted and what's not going to get painted because you don't paint every single piece all these pieces have to go in the oven and have to be able to withstand certain temperatures so not everything's paintable but we take all the parts we're not going to paint usually like barrels very rarely do we paint a barrel uh, i usually recommend not painting barrels uh, magazines stuff like that and we're going to put and then all your internal pieces we put over here and we bag everything up individually, you know, organizations, everything. I bet. And then uh, then we take the two pieces that we're going to Cerakote or however many pieces it's going to be and move to the next step. So we've arrived at the next step and what is it? So the next step is we have to get all the grease out of these things before we can paint them. Uh, so we're going to go into a 50-50 mix of degreaser and water and it's going to go in there for one hour. After an hour, we're going to pull it out, rinse it off, and then... Our last step of prepping this thing for grease, we're going to put it in the oven for an hour to make sure that all the rest of the grease bakes out. And the next step is, I'm guessing, the blast chamber? Yeah. So as soon as it comes out of the oven, we check it, make sure all the grease is off of it. And as long as it's degreased, it's going to go right in here. And uh, we use an aluminum oxide and we're going to blast. Polymer is going to get blasted at one pressure uh and metal's gonna get blasted at another pressure because you have to be careful you can eat polymer up and right. paint's not going to cover that so yeah that'll be the next step and after we sandblast it it's ready to go to the rack for paint all right so now we're going to mix the paint up make sure we have the right hardener decide what sheen we're going to use and all that mix the paint get it filtered put it in the paint gun and then come over here to the paint booth and then are you guys using actual Cerakote brand Cerakote? Yes, we use Cerakote brand Cerakote. Uh, it's primarily what we use 99% of the time. Every once in a while, we might use some other products. Sometimes people want like what's called gun candy that shimmers and right. stuff like that. So sometimes we'll use other products, but we're 99% Cerakote. Gotcha. So after the parts are painted, they go in the oven. How long does that take? About 15 minutes. We What we call flash. We just want to get the paint dry enough that we can put a layer of stencils on, but we don't want it to harden yet. Okay. All right, so speaking of that, stencils, we're doing the M81 pattern here. So stencils, how do you guys make these? Well, we have a machine that, uh, it's a graphic vinyl cutter that'll cut these out for us. We use what's called high heat vinyl. And uh, this vinyl, you can go into the oven up to about 180 to 200 degrees and not have to worry about it peeling too bad. Uh, and the adhesive doesn't stick to the paint. So it's a pretty expensive vinyl, but that's what you have to have to do this. Yeah, just to get those details on the edges, you know? Mm -hmm. so, Absolutely. All right, so then, we just stick them on there? Yeah, let's All go right. ahead and put some on. Let's do it. So our first layer is black, and when you're doing M81, you'll the black is the squigglies you see. So you want to use squigglies because that's what gives M81 its distinct pattern. And there's no right or wrong way, really, to put these on. You're just going to find spots. Um, 
So we're doing four colors. So a fourth of the gun, roughly, you want each color. So we're just going to kind of eyeball what looks like a fourth to us and put some squigglies on here. All right, we got the stencils on, but before we put the camo finish on there, I do want to mention that this is a Mug Club episode. So we're going to do the free version here of the Cerakote process, all of that for Rumble as well as YouTube. And then we're going to head over to Mug Club where we do viewer exclusive content. This week, we're going to be talking about what the heck just happened in Washington State with their magazine ban and their injunction that happened in 88 minutes, or reversal, I should say. How the heck did that happen? That's pretty insane. And then we're also going to take viewer uh, question and answers, as we always do uh, this week. Of course, we're going to have Jimmy here to give us a different perspective than we typically would. But if you guys are interested, there should be a code here on your screen that will get you guys a free month of the Mug Club membership. Of course, there's other creators over there. They're creating exclusive content as well. Myself, Alex Jones, Hodge Twins, Steven, of course. Uh, there's probably others. Brian Cowan, lots of folks over there. So if you're interested, check that out. Now let's get back to the video. So we've got one coat of FDE on there. There's more to go. We will be rolling that footage in here as you guys are watching. I don't wanna show every little step, like I said, just for the sake of brevity, uh, to make the video a little bit more consumable and you guys are gonna see the end product. Additionally, we should be rolling in some other really cool designs that these guys here have done. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking out what they do, where's the best place for them to find you? Stallywagscustoms.com. You can go there. It's got email address and a phone number for us. Just give us a call. Shoot us an email is probably the best way to get a hold of us nowadays. Email goes right to our phone wherever we're at. Right, that makes sense. Additionally, they are on Twitter. That is because of me. I I, <laughs> I nagged him to get on there because yeah. they've been using Facebook, so they're on Facebook as well if you guys want to check them out. But as we all know, that is a dying platform. Right. Um, so what's the rest of the process look like here for the Cerakote? So we have that uh, FDE coat on there, and then what? We'll add another layer of stickers, of stencils. Uh, we'll put a layer of Highland Green, and then uh, we'll put another layer of stencils on, and our final coat will be a what we call chocolate brown to finish out that M81 pattern. And then... Every step along the way with each color, you have to put it back in the oven for hardening? Yeah, every, every time we put a, a layer of stencils and a layer of paint on it, it has to go in the oven for about 15 minutes to, to, to just to harden that paint enough to be able to put another coat on there. Right. And then at the end, we're going to bake it for about two hours. Okay. Yep. So you guys are seeing a highly sped up version of it here very, very and, and seeing the end product. But it is a cool process to see for sure. Uh, if you guys have questions about it, definitely post down below. Hopefully you'll come over in the comment section at least yeah, for a couple for sure. at least for a couple days after the video goes live. Try to answer those questions. Absolutely. And uh, if you guys are new here and you like what you saw and you like the video, hit the subscribe button. If you've already done that, you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel. Make sure you sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. This email goes out once a month, and it has all the videos since the previous month's email went out, so that way there's no big tech giant censoring your eyes for my content. Additionally, we have daily deals. Uh, that email goes out every day. It has eight of the best products that we find around the internet, guns, ammo, optics, whatever it is. If the products are in that email on that particular day, it's the cheapest I know of anywhere on the internet for that product because I've already done the price comparisons for you. So hopefully that saves you guys some time and saves you some money as well. And we're closing it out here on YouTube and Rumble. We're going to head over to Mug Club for the rest of the video. We'll see you there.